can create a simple one-axis transitional animation. Move the timeline from 0 to any other frame, in this case 9, and then move your object towards its new place. You've simply created an animation here. Notice that two keyframes have been made on both 0 and 9. You can see the animation if you press space or slide your timeline. Make sure to make different test renders across the timeline before you render the final app. This will save you a lot of time. Now set your render resolution from the render output settings and set the SPP value. Notice that the rendering area is changing along with the resolution. Fixed render will give you a single shot of the selected resolution. If you want to render an animation, go to multiple frames and then animation. Here we have a window that lets you set the first and last keyframe and the maximum SPP for each frame. SPP stands for samples per pixel, which can be seen at the upper bar of the composer's window. The higher the SPP, the more quality you get and the more time you need. If you're pleased with a certain SPP value, set it at the animation window and start rendering. 